Right. The key to a good hair transplant is a fertile scalp. Not much different than fertile land. It has to be well prepared, well groomed, well done. And after that, maybe you'll get a good crop. We'll see. Good afternoon, uh, fellow hair loss sufferers, YouTube surfers, and uh, online forum readers. It uh, looks like from someone from my office today uh, decided to put up a before and after series of one of our patients we had done some work on a few years ago. And what you're seeing here is the before photo uh, about uh, 10 days or two weeks later when the staples were to, were to be removed and then an after photo. I believe this is two years after the procedure. So you have before, let's say 10 days, and two years. Um, that's the front view. The down view, uh, you can see him looking straight down. I find this to be the most honest view in hair transplantation. Here you can see he did have some grafts uh, implanted before he visited me. If I go back to the top photo here, you can see some of the grafts here looks like some uh, mini graphs maybe even some plugs based on the uh, on the size of it I hope that's coming through well on the video camera um, I'm sure at the time when he did it which was many years before it probably worked pretty well because it looks to me he probably had a lot more hair here at the time right about there at the time and then he he lost hair and uh, and it left just the transplants which uh, did not give him a, a good covering or a satisfactory look what I did is I transplanted in, um, it says 3,200 grafts, uh, I believe that says that up here, 3,200 grafts. My guess is that number is off. This looks like more than 3,200 grafts to my eye, but I don't have his uh, file on me. But I would say that's probably closer to 35, 3,600 grafts, maybe a little bit more. But that's how he looked two, uh, t 10 days to two weeks after the procedure. And here you see him two years after the procedure grown in. And we'll show you from a different angle. Again, that's before. That's two weeks later. And you can actually see the little hairs here uh, from the transplants filling in all the gaps. And then you can see the volume or bulk of it, that puff effect that I always look for in the uh, two year after photo. And I. Uh, I guess they put together a small um, before and after of just before the procedure. You can see what's left is his original hair and some plug work or mini graft work he had years before. And you can see the puff effect he has here now. Uh, although some of that may be due to styling. But it looks like there's so much volume over here that I would say that uh, right here in this area a lot of this is from transplants. But again, styling is important. Either way, he's benefiting. Now there's a question here from Spanker. Uh, had this patient had a prior surgery and was there a loss behind the transplant or are the photos playing tricks on my eyes? Uh, well Spanker, the photos are definitely not playing tricks on your eyes. Um, there's no question that uh, he lost uh, a lot of hair uh, in the back since his procedure um, which was two years ago with us, and he'll, he'll more than likely come back. I honestly don't remember this patient exactly, but he'll, uh, he'll likely come back to fill it in. If I show you the top view here, you can see right here in the back that he's losing his hair, whereas before, in the before photo, two years before when we did the procedure, looks like he had a fairly decent clump of hair here, right there. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think he probably lost. That's, that's the hair, the same clump of hair. It's just shaved. But, yeah, you're right. He probably lost here since the surgery, which, by the way, is common and should always be taken into account when uh, you're going to do a transplant. So there you have it. Uh, this is a standard uh, case for us um, and pretty much a predictable result. If he wishes, he can come in, and I think he is for a second round just to fill in the back part. Uh, as I recall, he does have a rather good and rich donor area, so I think his, his donor area can afford another round. And of course, when he does that, we'll post that online. This is Dr. Alan Feller. You can check us out at fellowmedical.com. We'll see you soon.